Hospitals are currently running out of face masks, which makes it difficult for individuals to get masks for personal use. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own alternative face masks, making use of materials that you can find in your house. And this face mask is going to contain a pocket opening where you can insert your medical filter. So let's get started. So right here I have a fabric that is 15 by 7 inches big and we are also going to need elastic band. I cut two pieces which is 9.5 inches each and I have bias bind which is 10 inches long and also we are going to be needing a twist tie which is going to be about 6.5 inches long i'll show you what this is don't worry you have it in your house so now you grab your fabric and you have to fold this in half like this in order to get started and then from this edge you are going to measure 1.5 inch and place a mark on the other end as well measure 1.5 inch and place a mark so now you're going to sew from this edge up to that 1.5 inch and repeat the same thing on the other end as well so as you can see i have done my stitches making use of a contrasting thread so you can see what i'm doing so after that is done you have something that looks like this so you are going to take that to your ironing board and flat iron the seams once i'm done doing that i have something that looks like this and i'm going to turn it to the right side And after doing that, this is what I have. So I'm going to go ahead and top stitch on this line really close to that edge. After doing the top stitch, this is what I have. You can see my stitch. And the next thing now to do is to measure half inch from that seam to the left like so. And you measure another half at the top. That's on the side that you have not top stitched yet, okay? So from there now, you're going to fold from those points. You're going to fold your um, mask like this. Okay, so you will have something that looks like this. And now you're going to go ahead and stitch at the edge and all around. Just go ahead and stitch all around like that. So once I was done with that stitch, I have this. Let me bring it closer to the camera so you can see my stitches. The thread is quite matching, which is good, but I hope you can see what I did. It's about a quarter of an inch away from the end, okay? So the next thing now to do is to grab your twist tie. So here is what the twist tie is. It's actually this thing that they use to bind, you know, cords and wire of our appliances. So just, you can find one in your house, I'm sure. So just take it out and place it onto this place. Insert it like this. And then you can secure that in place with your pin or clips. So just hold it in place with your clips and then you are going to take it to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch really close to this end like this just to secure that twist tie in place all right once i was done doing that this is what i have my twist tie is now secured in there and now i have a pocket opening and i'm going to be showing you the um, function of that twist tie later on so the next thing to do now is to create pleats and i'm creating the pleats along that part where I, where i have the opening so create about three pleats and as i'm creating the pleats i'm using my paint to keep it in place i'm also going to replicate the pleat on the other side as well the pleat on the other side <laughs> All right, so once you're done, you should have something like this. And then you take that to your sewing machine and secure it by a quarter of an inch seam. So once I was done now, it's time for the bias binding. Grab your bias, open it up like this and match it um, along the edge, making sure that you have about half inch to one inch extension at the top and the edge of your bias bind should match with the edge of your mask so once you're done matching that really nicely go ahead and pin it in place and after pinning that part go ahead and fold this over to the other side and secure that as well with your pin 
And so you're going to go and sew this along the crease. And once I was done, this is what I have. You can cut off the excess bias. And on the wrong side, I'm going to show you, this is what I have on the wrong side. You can see those excess is folded along the four edges. So now you're going to flip this over to the other side like so. And you fold the top and flip it once and again you flip it over onto your mask just basically how you use the bias bind to finish a raw edge so just go ahead and do that and clip that in place so it makes work way easier for you on the sewing machine and it just you know just basically keeps everything in place so keep folding and pinning and once that is done you take it to your sewing machine and stitch the bias binding down repeat the same thing on the other side as well and once i was done i have this and the next thing to do now is to insert your elastic band i'm using a black elastic obviously you can't go to the store right <laughs> okay so now i actually lost some clip on that one that i was working on so i had to make another one to show you guys so from the place where we stopped we are continuing from the exact place we stopped so this is the second one that I made using a different color of bias bind. It's exactly the same thing. So I'm just continuing from where we stopped. So just go ahead and insert your elastic band in using a safety pin. But of course, I'm using a needle as well. Use whatever works for you. Insert it and attach the ends together and then hide the raw edges inside the bias like so so once that is done that's basically it is pretty simple and so practical and with the additional feature which is the pocket you are able to insert your medical filter in there which can actually help to a reasonable extent so try this out you can make it for your household family members some people are even making it for sale already so if you want to do that go ahead so this is it this is what the outcome looks like try it out and give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel already if you haven't i share so many sewing tutorials every now and then on my channel to show you the function of the twist type thing we added is just to help confirm this uh, face mask to the shape of your nose which makes it even more comfortable so leave me a thumbs up and subscribe and until i see you next time bye